Now, uh, join Dr. Paul Dorfman, who's uh, in Paris, for further insight from an energy industry point of view. What's your take on this deal, Dr. Dorfman? Well, it's, uh, it's certainly a very generous deal. Uh, it's a 35-year contract, so the UK is locked into an index-linked 35-year contract in which we estimate conservatively that the UK taxpayer and energy consumer will be supplying about £1 billion a year into the pockets of the Chinese and uh, French nuclear corporations. You sound a little sceptical. Well, there does seem to be reason for scepticism. Uh, the reactor itself is a failed and failing reactor. It's uh, three times over cost and three times over time anywhere that it's being built. Uh, uh, it's uh, Arriva, which is the construction arm of EDF, are essentially bankrupt because of the problems associated with building this reactor. And, of course, there are questions about Chinese involvement. CGN, as discussed, are on charge for nuclear spying in the U.S. And CNNC, which is also another uh, a Chinese uh, state entity, a quasi-military state entity, is uh, actually supplying a ballistic and nuclear technology to Pakistan and Iran. And both of these companies uh, seek, will invest in, in, in UK nuclear at Hinkley. So there are potentially problematic geopolitical military implications here. Let's take another tack. You're sitting in Paris, of course. Last year, the huge climate change conference was held there. And we are all trying to reduce our dependence on fossil fuels. So doesn't nuclear, for the UK at least, help plug an obvious gap? Not necessarily. The problem is, of course, that these nuclear plants are by the coast. And we know what's going to happen with the coast. The Institute of Mechanical Engineers says that within decades, our coastline will be severely depleted. And all of our nuclear plant, including the associated waste stores, will either have to be defended or islanded. So that's uh, potentially quite a, quite, quite a big problem. And in terms of the reality of global warming, you know, what's really going on? The renewable evolution is here. Germany, the strongest economic state in all of Europe, has decided to go renewable and shut down its nuclear reactors. Unfortunately, we seem to be left behind with what seems to be an outdated and potentially unsafe technology. Briefly then, which technologies do you think Britain should be looking at in terms of energy supply? Well, Dong Energy, which is the, the, the largest uh, wind supply in the world, says that it can produce uh, enough power, the, the same amount of power as Hinkley does, uh, at, at much cheaper cost and much, uh, and much sooner. Solar energy costs are plummeting. They've fallen by 50% in the last five years alone. Now, associated with that, uh, electricity demand is falling. Uh, it's fallen by about 7% in the last five years. And government reports state that uh, by 2030, when Hinkley may come on stream, uh, electricity demand will have fallen by 23%. So the questions are whether actually we do need this sort of big, uh, this big sort of technology to provide us with this so-called baseload. The reality is actually otherwise. Dr. Paul Dorfman in Paris, thanks for your time. Thank and you. don't forget, if you want to catch up on all the latest information and developments on the Hinkley Point nuclear power deal, you can find it all on the BBC's website. That includes a live reaction page and a Q&A section. Just log on to bbc.com news.